Hello, I'm the Franchise King, Joel Labava. Today I want to talk about the three P's of franchising that you really need to know about. I think it will give you a really good understanding of franchising as a business model and as a potential way for you to get in business so you can be your own boss and take more control of your future. And if you want to see more videos like this and know when they're going to be published, hit the subscribe button. Thank you. The first P is partnership. Franchising is a partnership. It's simple. When you buy a franchise, you are partnering with the franchisor, with the concept. This franchise company has certain systems in place that will allow you to run a business without having to think about things like, how am I going to advertise? How am I going to get to market? How am I going to find a location? Uh, how am I going to do human resources and payroll? And, and what am I going to do about inventory and ordering? it? All that stuff is provided to you because you're a franchisee and that's what you're paying for. So it is a partnership. Keep it really simple. You are partnering with a proven business concept, hopefully proven. That's for you to find out by doing research. And you're doing this for generally a 10 year period. So choose wisely, choose carefully, do your research. The next one is power. Franchising is powerful. Not only has it been called one of the best business models ever invented, in my opinion, it's also one of the most powerful, if not the most powerful business model. And power in this, in this way means a couple of different things. The first thing is the power of a brand. When you buy a franchise, especially an established one that's been around for a while, the name's been, been around for a while, you will bring something to your local community that people probably already know about. So you don't have to educate them on what, what you do, what you sell, what you provide. There's also an internal part of franchising that is really powerful. And that is the power of a group, group buying power. For example, um, if, if you're in a retail franchise, a food franchise, it's probably, you're probably able to buy food from wholesalers cheaper than the independent restaurant down the street because you have the power of a group, the power of a group. Group purchasing power is huge. So when you're looking at franchises, ask franchisees whether or not they feel they have group buying power and have them give you specifics. All right. So franchising is powerful. It's also internally powerful because you have a group and you are pooling your resources to buy products that you resell. And in a perfect world, you're able to buy those products cheaper than an independent business down the street. And finally, the last P profitability. That's what you're in this for, right? Here's the best thing about franchising from a franchise buyer's view. You don't have to believe or guess about what your profit is probably going to be. Let me explain. If I was able to tell you how much you could make in your second year as a franchisee of a food franchise, if I was able to do it and I did it and I told you a figure, you don't even have to believe the figure I tell you. If a franchise salesperson tells you how much you can make, which they're not supposed to do unless it's on paper in the FDD, you don't have to believe him or her uh, because you can go right to the source. You can call and visit franchisees who already own and operate the business you want to own and operate in your neck of the woods and ask them how much they're making. You don't have to believe anyone else. The only person you need to believe is the franchisee you're visiting in person or you're on the phone with. Profitability can be found out easily. People think, oh man, how am I going to find out how much I can make? Well, it's in the FDD. Well, yeah, the FDD may have some figures in it. But even then, you don't have to believe the FDD. As a matter of fact, I don't even want you to consider the FDD numbers 
I, I don't want you to take them that seriously. What I want you to do is look at them and verify them with the franchisees that you talk with. This is where the rubber hits the road. Finally, can you be profitable as a franchisee? Yes, you can. Depends, of course, on a couple things. How good you are, your location, how good the franchise company is, how good the brand is, how strong it is, and how good you are managing expenses. If you pick a winner by doing careful research, you can become a profitable franchisee. So once again, the three P's of franchising are partnership, power, and profitability. I hope that helped you. If you need more help, go to thefranchiseking.com and I can help you with practically anything when it comes to franchising. Thank you for watching this video.